Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News. I've had a couple people asking me to do a thermal video on that build I did a couple weeks back um, in the Corsair Air 240 case. And so today we're going to go over those thermals and see how well that case actually performs for cooling. Plus, you'll get to see the GTX 1080 in all of its glowing form. So first we're going to test where the thermals are at without the CPU overclocked at all and then we'll do another test again with, after I overclock the CPU and see where the thermals are at there and kind of compare how good this case is at cooling even if the processor is overclocked. So at idle on the stock frequency i5-6600K, the CPU fluctuates around 28 degrees Celsius. The GTX 1080 on the other hand is fluctuating between the high 30s and low 40 degrees Celsius range. So with the CPU under 100% load with Cinebench, you can now see the differences in the temperatures. The CPU temp is hovering around 37 degrees Celsius, and the GPU is hovering around 44 degrees Celsius. In Heaven Benchmark, the CPU is sitting around 28 degrees Celsius. However, the GTX 1080 has now gone up, obviously because it's a graphics intensive benchmark, but it has gone up to roughly around 73 degrees. And finally, in the Tomb Raider Benchmark, the CPU was running around the low 30 degrees Celsius range, and the GPU was running from around 73 degrees Celsius all the way up to about 80, and it tended to stay right there just under 80. So even after overclocking the CPU to 4.5 gigahertz, the CPU's temperature is still around 26 degrees Celsius, and the GPU is still sitting around the 39 to 40 degree Celsius range. In Cinebench under 100% load, the CPU went up to about 43 degrees Celsius, which is a little bit higher than last time, but not very much. And the GPU is still at the exact same temperature as the idle. In Heaven Benchmark, the CPU was still just around 26 degrees Celsius, and the GPU did about the same thing it did last time, which was a range of 70 degrees all the way up to 80 degrees Celsius. And finally, in the last benchmark of Tomb Raider, the CPU was running around 38 degrees Celsius, and the GPU was running around 70 degrees Celsius, which both were about the same as before. So basically, regardless of being overclocked or stock frequency, the CPU ran at a very good temperature, and the GPU ran at a very good temperature as well. Neither were overheating or getting even close to a kind of a high heat. Um, and the, the whole case runs very, very cool. Please stay tuned to my channel. I do have a couple videos coming up. I have a video about a 970, a single 970 running in 4K, um, trying to see how the performance of that is. And I have a video comparing the i5-6600K to the i7-6700K processor. So that should be interesting as well. If you like this video, please click that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!